Oh, yummy! A pizza slice! Um. Whoa! Meh, I'm okay with it. Huh! Get this squirrel off of me! So delicious! On the table, the grocery gang, your shoppin's gone rotten. The grocery gang versus the clean team. Putrid power. Action figures. I somehow was able to obtain an early release of these guys. So far, a little tricky to get. I'm thinking these are more of a fall 2017 toy. But if you check on that Toys R Us ordering app, it might pop up again soon. These guys looked amazingly fun. Especially if you are a Grocery Gang fan, because now we have something larger, a whole action figure, to enter this world. And so far, these guys look just like you would expect a Grocery Gang action figure to look like. We have Dodgy Donut, Putrid Pizza, Gooey Chewy, Grub Sub, and Trash Head. Each one looks to have your basic action figure proportions, that all-important accessory, and they all include an exclusive grocery. Let's open and see what they're about. And maybe taste a few of them. That's right, Big Gray Squirrel, maybe even taste a few of them. Well, I tell you what I tell you, we have to start up with Powered Up Putrid Pizza. Probably my favorite to start with this collection. On the back of the box, the contents, a bio, other figures available, and a story. Let's start off by learning a little bit on this backstory. Join the grocery gang as they power up to fight the clean team in battle of septic proportions. The clean team have one evil mission, to wipe out all grossness, ickiness, and stickiness in the world. Yarg. So to fight back, our heroes have transformed themselves into the dirtiest fighting action figures ever. It's putrid power time. Search online for the Grocery Gang movie! Putrid Pizza, aka Pizza Face. Pizza Face is one slop with a lot. The never say die leader of the Grocery Gang is ready to lead his gross gang into greasy battle. No wonder I like this guy. He's the leader. With his pizza slice weapon, a great accessory, he'll serve it up to his opponents. Defeating the clean team will not be cheesy, but Pizza Face is a supreme fighter. Get ready to fight dirty. And stay away from Michelangelo. And of course, other figures available. So far, I've been able to snag six of these, but I'm still looking for squished banana, fungus fries, and a blowfly. All right, let's delay no longer. We have to open this guy up and see what he can do. And maybe take just one bite. That's right, Big Gray Squirrel, maybe just take one bite. This is amazing. If you're a fan of anything crazy from the 1980s, this is very similar to what things used to be like. Very, very funny, vibrant, gooey, and all that sort of thing. Putrid Pizza has a head like a pizza slice. You can see its mouth opening up behind that cheese. Two great big eyes. I didn't know you could order that kind of eye on a pizza. And a body made of other cheese and toppings of sorts. As for articulation, this guy has some shoulders and you can rotate and move his arm around. It's about it there. And for legs, we've got some hips, but they can move back and forth and out too for that all important pizza kick. Very, very clever. And of course, head rotation 360. Got a little bit of a grocery gang G on the back there. Very, very clever figure. So silly and gross. This guy also comes with one of the best accessories I've seen in a while. Looks like it's a pizza slicer cutter and it's got what looks to be some ice cream on it or maybe a meatball. Hard to say. I wonder if we could put this exclusive on there and kind of almost mash on that exclusive onto it even though I don't think that was totally intended. Maybe it was. Hard to say. And we'll get this guy to hold on to his weapon. Anytime you have a toy with one accessory, it's A-OK -okay in my book. This must be unpowered up putrid pizza before the arms and the legs. Let's see some more. Next up we have Dodgy Donut. Dodgy Donut, AKA Rocky. Rock hard and ready to roll, Dodgy Donut is rude, crude, and barely food. Dodgy Donut is a whole lot of trouble with the limbs of iced rings. He's a donut who's about to go nuts. When it's time for a dirty battle, he's the one you'll want by your side. This scrappy snack is always round when you need him. 
get ready to fight dirty. There's no shortage of puns with these guys. Okay then, let's get this one out. And Dodgy Donut out, very impressive with this one. They seem to have spared no expense with the sculpts and the paint. It almost feels like the real deal if there actually was a Dodgy Donut running around on this table. Same thing with Putrid Pizza, we have articulation in the arms. Although his hands almost feel backwards. Oh, they're okay. Three fingers, that sort of thing. And some legs here. I like how the legs are kind of tucked in into his donut self. And we even have a hole going right through this guy. Very clever and fun. I always like the pastries in the Grocery Gang series. And we've got some chucks. There looks to be a little slime and goo around them. Ah, there we go. That's too perfect. So silly. Who's up next? This one is really silly. We have Gooey Chewy. Gooey Chewy, AKA Gooey. Extra crude and already chewed. This dude's not old school, he's old drool. Icky and sticky, Gooey Chewy can't wait to get his sticky hands on the clean team. They had better watch out for his sloppy slingshot because when he hits, he sticks. Get ready to fight dirty. This guy is really sticking to me. Let's get him out. Gooey Chewy is out. What I kind of like about this guy is he could easily cross over to other toy lines. He's not as ridiculous looking like Putrid Pizza and Dodgy Donut. Gooey Chewy could probably jump over to the Turtles line or stick onto a Justice League character pretty good. Maybe just a little small. Would work well with Imaginext. Got the G logo on his back. Really like how the pink and purple transition into each other. We have a cool slingshot weapon. And of course we have a gooey chewy sidekick grocery gang character over here. What I also like about these is they're so core action figure. No weird action feature to make these guys look goofy. It's all about the figure. And they are grotastic. I could see this guy being a fan favorite, powered up grub sub. Hey, you're back, Big Gray. Where were you? Just doing some stomach exercising. Huh. Grub Sub, aka Meathead. Loud, proud, and easy to spot in a crowd, Grub Sub thinks he's the life of the party. But when the putrid power kicks in, he's the force with the sauce. He's a moldy breadhead who's ready to sandwich anyone who gets in his way. Get ready to fight dirty. A sandwich action figure, where have you been all my life? And the amazing Grub Sub. Wow, look how layered the meat is on his meat head. That is crazy. That looks so cool. Grub Sub isn't wearing too much though. We've got a couple socks, a green and a brown one. And I hope those are underpants of sorts, or it's just mostly food. Very weird, dude. Oh my gosh. That's an angle I really don't want to see of Grub Sub. Also with the simple articulation like the others, Rotating head. All of the articulation feels pretty solid. I don't think you're gonna have too many problems with that. And of course, the Grub Sub Mini. Some of these are some of the best groceries I've seen. This one is a really cool one. I like the bread texture on the side there. You can see the little G down there again. And at first, what I thought was an umbrella is actually a uh, mustard bottle squirting some ketchup, I think, right? So I guess it would be a ketchup bottle, but it's yellow, so you're like, what is this? Ketchup? Mustard? Just gross. But there you go. Grub Sud. <laughs> There's that back again. Let's just keep him this way. Keep him this way. Looks good. Next up, and the last of the Grocery Gang action figures, it's Powered Up Trash Head. A trash can action figure? Another crazy character I've waited long for. Trash Head, aka Clanky. Trash Head used to be your average filthy trash can until he was splashed by toxic juice and mutated into a pile of trash that's ready to smash. Trash Head is chock full of slop and is ready to empty himself on his enemy. He'll always throw up a challenge to the clean team, get ready to fight dirty. That's probably the most disgusting one I've read. It's almost like some sort of warped Oscar the Grouch toy. And it's Trash Head. This guy is rocketing up to be one of my favorites. Out of the package, it looks so much cooler. And just the idea is really growing on me. 
uh, very well superbly painted, very shiny, shiny silver, reflective almost going on the can. A lot of green slime coming out, green and yellow gradient arms going on. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Mutagen Man. I was hoping we'd be able to open up his lid, but that is on there tight, if even there to be removed, I don't think so. Uh, that would have been fun to kind of store some stuff inside, uh, but that's okay, because he's just really cool and gross. We have a fish accessory, a fish skeleton accessory, and it looks like this one's going to snap on onto his hand, kind of like a fish gun of sorts. Wonder what that thing's going to shoot, fish guts? Trash heads mini. The eyes look about right, but the rest of the can, I don't really see trash head in this one as much. Trash head is not to be missed. Looks like kind of one of the powerhouse tough guys of the group, perhaps. The last figure to behold is from the clean team. We have powered up vac attack. Checking out the back of the pack, it looks like this is the only one from the clean team available in this series. Does that mean all the clean teams look like Vac Attack, or we're just seeing one member of the clean team in this first group? Vac Attack, aka Oh Great and Shiny One. Don't mess with this sucker. Vac Attack's mission is to suck up the muck and tidy the trash. He may look spotless, but his hands are definitely not clean. The grocery gang had better watch out because he's one mean cleaning machine who's out to stop the slop one sticky stain at a time. Get ready to fight dirty. Okay, out with you, Vac Attack. Powered up Vac Attack. So clean, pretty, cranberry red. Looks like something you could find on the Home Shopping Network. Now available for only three easy payments of $19.95. Look how shiny this metallic paint is on this guy, very impressive. Too bad we only get to see one clean team action figure today. Just like the grocery gang, we have articulation on the shoulders and legs. Enough for some fun. And finding this one can be a little tippy up front though. Vac Attack looks to have a very sucky backpack full of all sorts of vacuum accessories. Almost looks removable. And it is! That's kind of creepy in itself. And then we have Unpowered Up Vac Attack. All the Clean Team Grocery Gang minis are metallic. So far I've only found Bennett, but I've only opened a couple packs. And we'll open more of those putrid power grocery gangs in a future video. As for Vac Attack though, this guy will be a great adversary for your Grocery Gang putrid power team. And there you have the Grocery Gang team all together. Their potent, ripe, pungent attitude is dripping all over this table. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Oh boy. I guess Scruffy is gonna have to clean up the rest. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. So much delicious food. I can't help myself. Nom 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 Oh, oh this one's full of food. Ah, I'm taking this home. Nom nom nom. Don't get away from me, don't it? Nom 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 nom.